What's going on my friends, Vitaly Dubin is here and welcome to another episode of today's in crypto show. The crypto markets are back to the bullish territory zone. Bitcoin is pumping today 10% above $21,000. I want to share with you what it means and what to look forward to. Ethereum is pumping as well above $1,720. The entire crypto market up 7.2% percent overly bullish we'll talk about the price of bitcoin ethereum merge and the terra luna classic which had everybody is talking about terra luna classic of course in the last months that it pumped so much and uh we'll share with you some other news as well so let's get started here guys on this channel with this bitcoin update yesterday i warned you guys about a potential 40 percent drop in the price of bitcoin if we are going to close the week uh in the red in the red <laughs> which is uh, in two and a half days from now and everybody was very bearish over here and look what is happening now the price appreciation of bitcoin completely put, uh, put us on a different territory right now this is a 13 percent pump creating this week to the downside and uh potentially guys we are flipping bullish here however it's too early to celebrate because we still are below this uh bear flag you can see this is the bear flag over here and we broke it to the downside we confirmed it here with the next candle and we are still below this level of resistance. So Bitcoin would need to close above $22,300 approximately uh, and then continue going higher for us to flip the case to the bulls, okay? Uh, while temporarily the bulls are in control, we should not forget the bigger picture and the bigger picture is we did broke this bearish flag and uh we still are below this bearish flag right now so it is too early to celebrate okay it's too early to celebrate because in a two week we saw this potential cross right there that uh, when the blue goes below the red which last time it happened bitcoin dropped 50 percent over here so uh this is our momentum indicator so we do need to monitor what will happen over the next two days how bitcoin is going to close are we going to back into the uh, into the flag territory or we're going to have a, a pretty pretty big rejection over this um level and then we're going to plan plunge lower so it's all will be in the next few days more clarity on that but look at this look at this i wanted to show you how bitcoin is perfectly repeating its 2018 and 2019 pattern where you can see back in 2018 we did have created the lowest point of about three thousand a hundred and fifty dollars and that was the bottom bitcoin was not seen any lower than that since december 2018 and then we have this pump and then we dumped but we created a higher low of 3350 and continue moving higher since then well look at this 2022 bitcoin bottom we reached a low of 17 and a half thousand dollars and now we created a low a higher low at 18.5 thousand and we are moving higher we are exactly look at this yellow point exactly repeating the scenario of the bitcoin bottom of 2018 2019 right now which i find quite interesting um now what else is happening we see the former blackrock executive which is a 10 trillion dollar firm becomes a blockchain australian new chief executive officer which is nice to see people from the traditional um portfolio management institutions like blackrock and deutsche bank and citigroup are flocking in for the blockchain space um, now coming from the white house they do warn the bitcoin mining industry 
telling everyone, hey, you must be greener or else we could ban Bitcoin mining. Uh, as you know, as from the big China exodus last year, the USA based mining has increased from just a couple of percentages to 38% now. That's a huge increase. And USA is a bit concerned about the huge amount of electricity that is not in an environmentally friendly way that Bitcoin miners are mining that Bitcoin. So they are warning that if they're not going to change or something like make it more efficient, like what Ethereum is doing right now with the merge, yeah, that is happening five days and nine hours that they might do something about it. So just a little bit of of some bearish uh, bearish news out there but look at this ethereum merge happening in less than six days a lot of people are excited in fact they're so excited that they're borrowing ethereum from different DeFi platforms to get the forked ethereum tokens as you know if you hold ethereum in a non-custodial wallet meaning in your trezor in your ledger nano s or in other uh, wallets that you control the private key well you will be airdropped uh forks of ethereum ethereum proof of work and a lot of miners will be supporting uh those uh, uh, forks of ethereum and continue mining them of course it's not the original ethereum but they will still be supporting them yeah um so people are speculating that that will be worth a, a good chunk, a good chunk of money. So they have been borrowing, borrowing, borrowing more Ethereum um, just to get more of these free forked uh, tokens. Okay, so it's quite interesting. And I personally think it's not going to be really adopted, those forks, uh, by the wider crypto industry. It might have a little short term effect. Uh, but nonetheless ethereum is uh, is on the pump it's on the pump because this reduced ethereum issuance and increased burns will systematically reduce ethereum supply putting deflationary pressure on ethereum thereby alleviating institutional concerns of token price dropping to zero and increasing likelihood of an increase in value and attracting more institutional investors that are looking at Ethereum staking that offer 10 to 15% yield annually for stakers, therefore making Ethereum an enticing bond alternative for institutional investors. So that is the is, is only good <laughs> for, for Ethereum. So if you have Ethereum, just hold it in your wallet and you'll be airdrop some fork tokens and see how much those are going to be worth. The talk of the town in the last months has been Terra Luna Classic after the entire collapse of the prices falling from $100 to almost zero, yeah, uh, uh, wiping out $45 billion uh, in, uh, in crypto in May. Look what happened in the last months. Uh, rising from 0, 0.0005 back in June all the way to 0005, which is like a 10x increase, which is very nice for such uh, such a project. I guess they, they are having some plans to revive with the uh, Terra Luna Classic uh, with the 2.0, yeah, and uh, the burning mechanism. That's what uh, they were talking about the 1.2% burn tax on all trades on centralized exchanges. Uh, <clears throat> so Hyobi, Hyobi is going to support uh, the 1.2% uh, burn tax. I don't know if Binance is going to support, but that's a that's a big move. What Binance is uh, Qcoin, Qcoin is going to support uh, also the 1.2% tax burn proposal and. Uh, Binance hot wallet of Terra Luna Classic has been emptied. That's a lot, a lot of coins. 2.5 trillion coins. <laughs> I don't know what exactly they're planning to do with these coins, with these tokens of uh, uh, Luna Classic. Uh, maybe they will introduce some kind of a, a staking for it. I don't know. 
but something is going on something is going on uh, if you do plan to hold luna classic know that this is a very risky play a very risky play because it is for me at least it is not clear what is, what they're planning what they're planning to do and no the terra luna classic will not go to one dollar <throat> it's not going to happen the people that claim those type of things they clearly don't understand the tokenomics of a project it's pretty much impossible for terra luna classic to get back to a dollar which uh, will represent like a thousand x or two thousand x increase for what it is right now but it is a speculation it is like a gambling speculation and that's what attracted a lot of people over the past few weeks because it was rising uh so much yeah and um, this is like 500 percent five 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 x which is pretty cool amid uh, the overall bearish sentiment in the market and uh, looking at ultron uh, we are holding steadily above 10 cents we are at 11 cents right now uh trading you can see over here uh it's been pretty cool uh, day by day we are rising and i think this pattern is is of course not going to forever going to rise like this but uh we'll see some consolidation periods uh, rising again consolidation and then at some point it is going to also go down just like every cryptocurrency uh out there uh but be on the lookout for my video about that is coming up soon uh, the two most important uh, the two most important things to know about crypto to succeed is when to buy crypto and when to sell crypto and a majority of people are completely do it all wrong so uh, i'll be sharing a video giving you tips about those things when to buy when to sell because this is what the majority of people really struggle and this is really what is the most important when you buy the crypto asset when you sell the crypto asset so be on the lookout for this video and i'll see you guys in the next videos in today's in crypto shows with more market updates stay tuned and uh i'll talk to you soon